Mary stands as an icon, as a model for a life of humility. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church is celebrating the feasts of Saints Joachim and Anne the grandparents of Jesus and the parents of Mary, the mother of God. Today's celebration is a celebration not only confined to Joachim and Anne, but it is celebrated by all the families. And why do we celebrate wherever we find grandparents, there is celebration. Jesus' grandparents, Joachim and Anne, they are not only special to Jesus and to Mary, but also they had been very special to all of us. In the history of the church, there are a number of congregations which have been founded as Saint Anne as their patroness. And we also find that Saint Anne had profound impact and influence in the life of Mary. There were three important things that Saint Anne had taught Mother Mary. The first important element which is a great inspiration to each and every one of us is the importance of trusting in God, to trust God all the time. And that is precisely why when Archangel came to Mother Mary, almost spontaneously and naturally, without doubting, without questioning, without inquiring, she simply trusted what the Archangel had communicated to Mary. And we also find the second important was the need to obey. Obey elders, obey parents. And that is why Mary had always remained obedient to the plan of God, the will of God. That obedience is such an important virtue that Mary had totally and completely imbibed within her and she was able to from the very beginning right through her life she had been obedient to her parents as well as to God. The third important thing that we find in Mary is humility. Mary stands as an icon, as a model for a life of humility. And all these three things, along with many other things that Mary had learned from her own mother, Saint Anne. And today, when we celebrate the feast of Joachim and Anne, we in a special way remember all the grandparents. And when we remember the grandparents, let us make a decision. And the decision is, to enter into a very loving, caring relationship with our own grandparents, to take care of them, and also to protect and to provide during their last days of life, to protect and to provide the things which they need in their life. Lastly, let us see to that the grandparents are able to live a happy and a peaceful life. Amen.